to the world of fantasy, romance, sci-fi, adventure, and more. It's time for the Author Hour, your guide to fantastic fiction, hosted by Matthew Peterson. It's a weekly visit with the masters of fiction as we meet with the top authors of today. Now, here's Matthew Peterson. My big pie-in-the-sky dream was that we would somehow manage to sell 5,000 copies of the book, and then I would earn out my advance, and it would save me from being remaindered. That was my big dream. Yeah. So I would have never dared to have dreamt this big. But your second novel, The Tiger Rising, I mean, that brought even more attention to your name. It became a finalist for the National Book Award, but it was really your third book that really hit the jackpot. The Tale of Desperate won the coveted Newbery Medal. Yeah, the Newberry. What did you do when you discovered you had won the Newberry? Uh, actually, I still am kind of like wrapping my head around it, even though it's been years now, because you know, I was one of those kids who loved to read, and I knew always to look for that medal on a book. And to think that it would be on something that I wrote is still kind of incomprehensible to me. And before they make the press announcement, they call in the morning, the whole Newberry committee does. And they gave me the news, and I just kept on making them repeat it. <laughs> All I remember saying to them is, say it again. And he said, my teacher's an alien. And I almost went across the table because it was the best title I'd ever heard. <laughs> I had one of it myself. The <laughs> finally did not know that I was oddly appropriate to write the book, because when I was a kid, a rumor went around our school that on a certain day, aliens were going to land and take away all the kids. Oh. Now, nobody totally believed that, of course, but you didn't totally disbelieve it either because when something is said over and over again, it takes on a weird kind of reality. That's how politicians get away with so much stuff. Yeah, yeah. So we were all talking about, oh, what, what do you do? And I knew what kind of tension rose in the school. So I had this background to work from. And the book, which was meant to be a standalone book, took off in overnight success after 14 years publishing. Uh-huh, yeah, well, I mean, there's a whole TV series. <laughs> so, well, that's, the TV series came later. Uh-huh. That was uh, another Alien series. But, so clearly, Aliens and I had a thing going on together. Uh, uh, so you want to be a So you want to be a wizard. wizard. came out in 1983, I think it was. 1983. I think it was 83. Yeah, Jake J.K. Rowling was just going into college. It's well, about time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, these things will keep. The, the good ones oh, yeah. will keep. If you know, there was some big fad thing going on and the, and the books had suddenly become huge, then you start to worry when they try to rush you into production. Yeah, they're, they're, um, they're up to something. They're trying to milk some cash cow. Well, in particular, they, they want to milk it before it goes away. In the case of these books, they've been around for a good while. Yeah, Fire Girl, which won the Golden Kite a few years ago, the fictional award, Society of Children's Book Writers and Illustrators, that was a real surprise and such a delight. It's a great group, and, and the books are selected by other authors not by uh, librarians or teachers of some of the other book awards on our show. That was really nice to get. And then this past spring, the postcard, the Mystery, won the Edgar Award, the Edgar Allan Poe Award from Mystery Writers of America, the best juvenile fiction mystery for kids. And that was really beautiful. It was one of these things where you don't know that you're going to win until you're at the table. Uh, uh, yeah. And they announced the podium, and that was crazy, but it was so lovely to win that. 